Now, oh, May already, and it's time for a plot tour. So we have got things that, I know, scary frost might come, but sometimes you just have to jump in, don't you? So, pond still being neglected. I've got some flowers planted out. There's a plum tree. So what we've got out, we've got Cosmos amongst all the weeds. Um, Swan Daisy mix. Oh, this was my night centre stock. It just fell to bits when I got it out of the pot, but I think it'll be all right. We've got some Lobelia. This is my roses. And these are my sunflowers. I've mixed them up, so we've got a nice colour of red and um, yellows. So there's red sun in there and there's also Titan. Uh, more some some more night centered stock. My other rose. My lily is doing fabulous. And a cosmos. My one dahlia that came out. <laughs> and some more lobelia. This were looking quite sad when I got it out of the pots, it was definitely ready for it, or being potted on or moving at least. So, that's how the plot is looking at the moment. We'll start with the chickens. And you'll probably noti notice that the cockerel is no longer here. We managed to find him at home. He's going to have his own girls. There's Rosie. Oh, the rescue ends are coming out, look. They look fabulous. So there we go. What we got here? Some flowers. We've put these here because they are hoping to give them a bit of shade for the chickens if it gets too hot. Because last year, I mean, they had plenty of shade from the hop on top, but... It was blasting down this side, so what we got here? Got some sweet peas and some calendula in that one, and then the onion bed is looking marvellous. Got some spring onions. I did. I um put some carrot seeds, but I can't see. Oh, that could be a carrot, couldn't it? Does that look like a carrot? I'd say it does. But I'm no expert. Spring onions, um, shallots, red onions, and white onions. There they are. And if we just move across here, we've got the courgette, the Verdi Milano, Milana. That's doing well. You see, I thought courgettes would be alright because I think they courgettes would probably survive a nuclear blast wouldn't they <laughs> and the black beauty so they're doing good now my brassica bed i know it's looking a bit dry i need to do we need to still water it we i planted the stuff in the greenhouse very organized most things labeled if it was a full tray i just put one label in then we moved it to the car and rob who's my partner um, moved him to the car and I believe everything's got mixed up so because this these are supposed to be purple sprouting broccoli now if you look at that one and look at that one they are nowhere near the same so I do believe everything's been mixed up but you know oh well Sorry, said life's like a box of cho chocolates, but I've got an allotment, so life's life per bed of brassicas that got mixed up on the journey. <laughs> so we've got kale and cauliflower in this one. We think there might be a spare brussel in there. You know, we don't know. I suppose it adds to the excitement. So, yeah, and I've got to net them over. <laughs> In there we've got the greyhound cabbage and budge down here we've got the French beans 
Now I'm not supposed, I don't know whether they're supposed to do that, I'm guessing not. But they seem to be growing new leaves okay, so maybe it was just a bit of a shot going in or, I don't know, a bit of frost maybe. This was supposed to be my herb bed, but my poor blueberries, they were just looking shocking, so we filled this bed up with blueberry goodness, which is, oh, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, anyway. And it looks like we've lost two over there, but two look okay. I can get them to replace it, they're dead. But they're all right for now. The bath, it's probably got more weeds in it than all bush now. Charlotte taters, they need earthing up again. These have shot up. And I believe these are swift. And again. And they were the me um 25p bargain bin ones, so they're doing really well. That's stuff that needs to go out or back into the polytunnel. This is gonna be my Brussels bed, but maybe it's gonna be um a potluck again, I'm not sure. Still not dug that one over. Um I'm doing some outside tomatoes. I'm braving it. So that I think is gonna be the tomato bed. This is my potato bed. I ain't got no potatoes showing yet, but I didn't do them all that long ago anyway. The grass on here is coming back lovely though. <coughs> Excuse me. The compost bin's gone. But the compost is still there, which I'm just I think I'm just gonna rake over and get out the big twigs. My currants. So I don't know which is which. In my current bushes and gooseberry and then over here pear tree I'm not letting no fruit grow on these because it's only the I think they've only been in one full year plum no <laughs> cherry it's pear cherry plum <coughs> I may just start on putting Aubrey in the tyres, but I'm, I've got some seed. I'm just going to sprinkle all that in. But, and there you have it. There we go. Let's just do one run down quickly, see if I've forgot anything. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe that is it. Courgettes you've seen. Classicas you've seen. Sunflowers. Chickens, blueberries. I think that's it. I believe that is it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look how well it's doing. Certainly filling up, certainly looking a lot tidier. So I'll see you in June. Bye.